Hello YouTube, my name is James PFP. Uh, I'm doing a quick video here. I want to do two things in this video. The first thing is uh, I want to talk about an idea which only basically occurred to me in the last 10-15 minutes and I'm, I'm thinking it over in order to how to express it because it's a very direct idea and I'm really most interested in expressing it to an audience not on YouTube but on another social media platform which will remain nameless but um, you I, I'm pretty sure you all know what it is so here's the idea this this is a reflection for the how to put this for the Trump haters for the people that consistently hate on Trump okay for whatever reason you don't want to like him you don't want to like him fair enough I don't much like what some of the things he does either there is a problem that you have to account for, though, when it comes to Trump's raw popularity, no matter what happens. No matter what has happened, no matter what will happen, he, he has a, a quality, a quality about him, which will directly translate into raw popularity, no matter what anyone, no matter who hates on him, no matter what they say when they hate on him, no matter how terrible you make it sound, even if you're willing to lie to make him sound worse, this particular quality cannot be denied. And when I point out just how valuable this quality is compared, compared to another president of recent memory, it will probably, I think it, it will act as a bit of a red pill. It kind of acts as a bit of a red pill. I know it will. Here's why. Pres um, President Trump is not an unknown quantity. The quality that he has is that he's not a political unknown, even though he is n a newcomer to politics. He He's spoken about it in the past when people normally in the media have come to him with questions, not always in the media, but frequently. They've come to him and they've said, well, Donald, would you be interested in running for president? And in the past, he indicated in the affirmative or in the negative, one way or the other, in the 80s and the 90s, the 2000s, and since 2005 and onward. It's, well, I mean... Certainly, since two, 2015, there was no doubt in anyone's mind anymore that it, was, it had to happen, okay? So, he, he wasn't an unknown quantity. Whereas, the person who was previously president, President Obama, or as I like to call him, Bo, whereas Bo, who the hell is he again? And I'm not saying that he isn't from Hawaii, or that he's from Kenya. No, 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 no. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm saying, who the hell is he again? Do you know anybody who went to Obama's Harvard Law School courses? Did he teach you at Harvard? I'd like to talk to you. Does anyone, does anyone know anything at all? What, what, what was it that made him such a great legal mind in the first place? Why was he teaching at Harvard at all? Was he a litigator before he went teaching at, at Harvard? Did, did I not hear about all of these great cases these civil you know these civil lawsuits that he defended or prosecuted one or the other I don't, no no there's nothing nothing whatsoever distinguishes this man who we were all afraid to say anything negative about for fear of being called a racist ah ah everybody knew they couldn't really trust him because they didn't know who the fuck he was they had no co coordinates for him. Only people who knew who Barack Obama, or sorry, who Bo was, was people that knew Bo from being on the inside circles of people like Bo. I'd like to ask, I'd like to ask Donald Trump, when was the first time you met Bo? Did you ever have any dealings with Bo as a young man? I mean, when he was a younger man than you are, because he's a younger man than you are. How could it be that Bo is an unknown fucking quantity and that Donald Trump would ever be able to win some of his popular support from a base that was 
already arguing this man is an unknown. I'm going to offer to you, frankly and freely, because I can, here on my YouTube channel, that Bo was a CIA operative and has been a CIA operative all along. He was probably a CIA, CIA operative when he was in Harvard. He probably recruited people for the CIA when he was in Harvard on behalf of the CIA because that's who was really paying for him. And over time, it became more and more obvious this is probably our best bet is this unknown quantity who just so happens to be eloquent enough to get away with the public face bit. Everybody loved him until he started coming out after the fact saying that he, that he didn't, you know, he had a, a, how did he put it, an administration that was scandal free. Hmm. Scandal free as long as you don't check under the rugs. Hey, Bo. So that's the, fir that's the first thing. Here is the second thing. I'm retrieving a link. I'm retrieving a link from uh, Google. Uh, check the, what I'm doing is I'm retrieving a link from Google, uh, which I, I plan to put in my, uh, which will, will be put into the video description below. And if you check in the video description, you'll see a link which will take you to a Google uh, file, like it's shared on my drive, but which is um, a four-year calendar. Uh, I mean to say it's a, a copy of my, uh, I get the shareable link. It's a copy of my four-year calendar, which is the, Mercu the Mercutio calendar. As you can see, the time is ticking on the screen here above. Uh, the Mercutio four-year calendar I've got published as a PDF. You can access it freely via my, this link that's in the description if you're interested in seeing how else to use this type of calendar that I use. And I plan to quickly go over it, but not in this video. I won't be going over the calendar in this video. I'm, I'm only announcing right now that the, there is a download link available for anyone who's interested in something which is sort of like this Stardate calendar, which I'm using above here, but it's like the one right at the top there. It's the six colon three part. All of the day, all of the days of the year for the next, well, for the four year period that we're in, um, are accounted for. So you can have a look at that uh, at that video or at that document, free of charge. My gift to you. Thanks for watching. Comment below, and I'll talk to you later.